Step into the realm of Lumen Spiritus, a channel dedicated to exploring spirituality and the esoteric. Join us on a journey of enlightenment and discovery as we delve into the mysteries of the unseen. In this video, we explore the mystical rituals and practices of the ancient Egyptians, uncovering the secrets behind their powerful spells and supernatural beliefs. Discover how these ancient practices shaped their culture, from invoking protective deities to mysterious rites of transformation. Support our channel's growth and future content by donating today. Every contribution, no matter how small, helps us bring you even more captivating videos. Plus, in the description below, you'll find additional insights and our top 10 videos from Lumen Spiritus for further exploration. Have you ever wondered how the ancient Egyptians, a civilization renowned for its architectural and technological prowess, dealt with the mysteries of the unseen world? In the shadowy corners of ancient Egypt where the Nile whispers ancient tales, a mysterious aspect of their civilization thrived, often shrouded in mystery and intrigue, black magic. Far from the sinister connotations we associate with it today, black magic in ancient Egypt was a key component of their daily life, intertwined with religion and survival. The ancient Egyptians held a profound respect for the unseen world, and they believed in the existence of forces beyond their comprehension. They perceived the universe as a complex web of divine forces and energies, and they sought to understand and harness these forces to their advantage. Black magic was their bridge to this unseen world. Imagine a bustling marketplace in Thebes, where amulets and talismans are sold not as mere trinkets, but as potent tools of protection and power. Picture a high priest in a sacred temple, chanting incantations under the shimmering Egyptian sun, invoking divine entities to intervene in human affairs. These were common scenes in the life of an ancient Egyptian, where the boundary between the physical and the spiritual was fluid and often blurred. Their methods of practicing black magic were as diverse as they were fascinating. They used a variety of tools, amulets, spells, potions, and even the very elements of nature. Some of these tools were meant to ward off evil spirits, others to invoke the blessings of the gods, and yet others to manipulate the forces of nature. But black magic was not merely a tool for survival or a means to an end. It was intricately woven into their religious practices, reflecting their profound understanding of the cosmos. It was their way of making sense of the world around them, their way of dealing with the uncertainties of life. Indeed, the ancient Egyptians had a profound understanding of the unseen world, using black magic as a tool to navigate it. As we delve deeper into this intriguing aspect of their civilization, we are reminded of the complexity and depth of the human quest to understand the unknown. But what exactly were the tools that the ancient Egyptians used to manipulate the unseen world? Their mystical operations were far from simple. They employed a variety of tools and methods, each one carefully chosen for its specific purpose. Among the most significant of these were spells, amulets and potions. Spells, for instance, were not merely words spoken into the ether. They were carefully crafted incantations, each syllable imbued with a power that the Egyptians believed could alter the fabric of reality itself. Take the spell of the Twelve Caves, used in the burial rituals of the pharaohs. It was believed to guide the departed soul through the underworld, warding off malevolent spirits and ensuring a safe passage to the afterlife. Then, there were the amulets, these were not simply decorative trinkets, but potent charms, each one designed with a specific intent. The Jed Pillar, for example, was an amulet symbolizing stability and endurance. It was often placed on the neck of a mummy to ensure the deceased's eternal existence. Potions, on the other hand, were an alchemical blend of herbs, minerals, and sometimes even animal parts, brewed under specific astrological conditions. Consider the Potion of the Lotus, a concoction made from the blue lotus flower. It was used in rituals and ceremonies for its hallucinogenic properties, thought to facilitate communication with the gods. But these tools were not used in isolation. They were part of a larger, intricate ritual system which involved offerings, dances and sacred symbols. Each component, from the smallest amulet to the most complex spell, played a crucial role in the grand scheme of Egyptian black magic. And while we may view these practices with skepticism today, it's important to remember that for the ancient Egyptians, 
They were as real as the sun that rose every morning over the Nile. They lived in a world where the physical and the spiritual were deeply intertwined, where magic was not an aberration, but a natural part of existence. The power of these tools, as believed by the ancient Egyptians, truly paints a picture of a society deeply entrenched in the mystical. What were some of the most renowned instances of black magic in ancient Egypt? A question that can transport us back to a time of pharaohs, pyramids, and the undeniable power of the unseen. One of the most chilling examples of ancient Egyptian black magic is the tale of the waxen figures. The story goes that a man, desperate to win the love of a woman, sought the assistance of a sorcerer. The sorcerer crafted two figures from wax, one male and one female. He then performed a spell, breathing life into the figures and making them perform actions that the man desired to happen in real life. This tale of love and manipulation is a stark reminder of how magic was not just a tool for protection or healing, but could also be used for personal gain and control. Yet, black magic was not confined to the realm of commoners. It wove its way into the royal courts as well. A famous example is the story of Pharaoh Ramses III, one of the greatest rulers of Egypt. He was believed to have been the victim of a black magic conspiracy, orchestrated by one of his own wives and a group of courtiers. They planned to kill the pharaoh using magical spells and wax figures, similar to the earlier tale. The conspirators were eventually discovered and brought to justice, but the incident left an indelible mark on the history of ancient Egypt. These instances, while thrilling, also reveal a darker side of ancient Egyptian society. They show how black magic could be used to manipulate, control and even kill. But they also demonstrate the profound belief the Egyptians had in the power of the supernatural. A belief so strong it could drive a man to manipulate love and a queen to conspire against a pharaoh. These examples provide us a glimpse of how black magic was not just a practice, but a force that could shape the destiny of the mightiest. So what is the legacy of ancient Egyptian black magic in our world today? Well, it's more pervasive than you might think. The echoes of this ancient art can be found in modern day practices and beliefs, including those of witchcraft and paganism. In these circles, the ancient Egyptians are often revered for their deep understanding of magic and the spiritual world. Their spells, amulets and rituals are studied and replicated, seen as powerful tools for harnessing the energies of the universe. Moreover, their philosophies about the nature of life, death and the cosmos continue to inspire and influence our own. We see their fingerprints in various aspects of our culture, from literature and art to our understanding of the metaphysical world. Could the ancient Egyptians have tapped into a universal truth about the unseen world that we are only beginning to understand? And if they did, what does that mean for us in our quest to understand the universe and our place within it? Exciting and mind-bending topics are coming to our channel. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Lumen Spiritus for even more captivating mysteries. Additionally, consider supporting our channel by donating via the PayPal link below. Stay tuned for our next video.